Hi, I'm Petra Hilleberg, and I'm here at High Five Brewery in Redmond, Washington. And I'm here with a team from Veterans Expeditions. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. So Nick, you started Veterans Expeditions. Yes. Can you tell us about what it is? Yeah, in 2010, we started Veterans Expeditions, um, and we really, our thought was to get veterans outside and um, see where that took us. And here we are some years later, we're running 50 trips a year, getting 500 vets outside. And the whole focus is to get veterans outside and building community. And that community extends back home with veterans that come out with us. So you're reaching about 500 people now, 50 different trips of different mm -hmm. kinds and inside and mm -hmm. all kinds of, not just in the expeditions, but anything from fly fishing, crafting, What's the, what's the goal? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, we're we're able to get vets outside on a bigger level now. What we're doing out there is we're building community. We're we're building relationships. We're helping folks transition from active duty military service to civilian life. Um, we're just providing that conduit of, of an outdoor trip to make uh, your everyday life just a little bit easier. Is it all over the country now, or is it centered where you're based in Colorado? Yeah. So we're. We're, we're nationwide and we focus on a few areas geographically of the country. We run trips in the Northeast, we run trips in the Mountain West, Colorado, Montana, um, general area there, the Mountain West. We run trips in the Pacific Northwest. And so we don't hold trips in every single state, um, but we hold trips in geographic regions that cover most of the um, continent of the United States, including Alaska. And what is it that is that you guys feel is um, Draws you to veterans expeditions. Obviously, you guys are veterans, but um, like what is it that, that works so well for you guys? I think it's the community. For me, at least, it's the community. Knowing uh, guys have been through similar things to what you've been through. And, uh, of course, you're all doing something that you love to do and you have a lot of fun. So, a sense of community is really important. It really is nice to get outside with a lot of people who've had similar experiences to you. and sort of know what you've been through. Trust them a little more, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So about you? Yeah, same thing. It's just the, the group of people that we that get together for these things, they go on to form friendships outside of the, the veterans expedition. So for me, uh, I did some climbs last year with FedEx, uh, made some great friends, we ended up doing some pretty aggressive climbs like the season. And that, that's been so amazing for me to be able to look into the crowd and find people that I think Again, after having served, that there's still people out there that um, kind of get what, uh, what we've been through, and uh, I can't see the trust in the future as an adventure. So, you guys are obviously all you've been on some kind of trip with the Nick and the Barnes expedition teams, right? They think you've done a bunch of them, right? I've been involved pretty heavily since 2014. Uh, I was on the Denali climb in 2015 and uh, helped Nick run the trips out, out west last year where we did right here Hood and Shasta. So you mentioned uh, the Denali expedition, which is probably to date the biggest or the most high profile expedition that you guys have done, it was in 2015. And uh, that was quite the undertaking. Yeah, it was uh, June 2015. We had summit June 15th is when we summited. We tagged ourselves eight to 22 on that specific expedition. So the eight of us were climbing for the 22 military members that uh, take their own lives every day so that we got built on that on that statistic um, we had some pretty bad weather and we had a decision point to make at one point we got the the bad news that uh, at 14,000 feet on the mountain after already being on the mountain for um, 10 days or so we got the word that bad weather was coming in and it was here to stay and we could have a choice either we needed to stay or we needed to go um, and staying would be a massive time commitment and uh, we all um, didn't even think about it. We were staying and we were staying for the long haul and that's what we did. We waited out some two weeks worth of weather uh, before we finally got our chance to summit. Um, so we spent 27 days on the mountain in all and we spent a, a lot of those days in our tent um, and in our camp hanging out. And uh, those tents that we stayed in all that time were, were, were some Hilleberg tents, they were the Hilleberg Hurons, and they allowed us to stay. They allowed us the ability to stay on the mountain for that long. 
you said that the tents look pretty much new, but they don't really smell it. <laughs> so, yeah, as Nick said, we spent 27 days on the mountain, and um, even though you're on a, a glaciated peak, you, it can still get pretty warm, and, and the VO is definitely uh, kind of bad. So, <laughs> um, you know, no showers, and, and the stink kind of got funneled into our sleeping bags and the tents, and so it's definitely got, got a little pretty stinky by the, the end of the expedition. <laughs> And I know one of the big trips that's coming up 2019 is uh, mm -hmm. all of this uh, expedition on Denali, right? Yeah. So we're, we're really um, just trying to do what we did with our first Denali trip. And by creating our first Denali trip and by pushing the envelope a little higher for our organization to do an expedition like that, we created a lot of infrastructure, we created a lot of health, and we created a lot of leadership. And with the women's Denali team, uh, coming up in 2019, we're, we're, we're essentially doing the same thing. We're, we're increasing our numbers of women veterans that get in outside with us. We're increasing our women leadership and for them to be able to go out um, as a unit by themselves with no support and figure it out much like we did, um, they're going to gain a lot of, a lot of uh, confidence in themselves. So if you have women that uh, want to join but prefer to be mostly with women, then you have the support for that. Yeah, awesome. Absolutely. And we've, we've, we've developed that support throughout the organization. We brought in a new board member, so she's always up there making sure that um, women veterans out there have a, have a place at our organization and they have a seat at the table on our board. So I know that uh, you guys have all said that you plan with Nick, and then you're also a leader. So how does that work, the, the leadership that you have on the, the, on the expeditions and on all the different trips as well? Is that Okay. You hire guides or? Yeah, I think I'll, I'll take this one. Um, so leadership, how does it all work? How does, how do, um, how do we make this whole thing go? And essentially, um, what we do is um, we're, we're an entirely veteran-run, veteran-led organization. We start there. So our board members are all veterans. Our leaders are all veterans. In that caveat, we partner with lots of non-vets in many capacities. And we do this as a group format. We do this as a team. We are self-groomed leaders. We spend a lot of time outdoors ourselves. We, per we perfect our craft, and then we lead others in the outdoors. Um, we are entirely privately funded. Um, so our, our money and our funding to run trips comes from individuals and non-government entities. Um, and so it's, it's, it's folks like, like you or anyone else out there that, that, that writes a check for any amount. Um, that's who funds us. And then how that shakes down to the individual that wants to come out on a trip with us is that we offer um, no cost to low cost trips. So if someone wants to come out with us in a meetup trip capacity, um, that's a free trip. They come out, um, they meet up with us, um, we set up a meeting time. Um, and it, it's totally free. Our bigger expeditions, there is a pay to play into those expeditions. They are very expensive, and we set that level for for those certain expeditions based on costs. Um, so if a veteran wants to come out with us, they just go online, they pick a trip that they're interested in, and then that trip alerts them to, okay, this is a free meetup trip, or this is an expedition that there's a charge to. We are. Uh, Vet Expeditions on Facebook, we are Vet Expeditions on Twitter, and we are Veterans underscore Expeditions on Instagram. Well, thank you so much for coming out here and hanging out with us today. We really appreciate it, and I think what you guys are doing is really great. And it's really great seeing you guys here. Great. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Cheers.